Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Farming Simulator 2017. Uh, this is the Goldcrest Edit Map by Stevie. It's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful map. And uh, I think I'm going to go over some of the uh, updates on this map plus a tutorial. So stand by. Before I get started, please, 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 please go down below the video and hit that thumbs up please if you would. Uh, it only takes a second and it makes my heart just beat just a little bit faster and harder. Uh, thank you very much. Appreciate it. And subscribe if you're not a subscriber already. Do it. Um, yeah, this is a Goldcrest Edit Map by Stevie. Uh, this is version 1.1. There was a 1.0. Um, I'm not going to go into the, 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 the uh, uh, parts of 1.1 to from uh, 1.0 but uh yeah let's let's uh let's get it up this is basically and i'm saying basically uh the same map that came with the game uh goldcrest map with uh, maple field the, the town downtown major differences are coming up uh the hayloft doesn't come with the map but uh it is a download by stevie uh it does carry uh holds uh let's see grass chaff hay and straw so all four of those can be stored in there and then uh, you, you dump them over here and they come out the, tra the dispensing triggers right here, okay? So uh, the uh, rest of this does come with a map. Um, extra space for uh, parking your, your vehicles. Uh, this is the same here uh, with seeds in the uh, I, I think those are bunkers, but I don't know. We most of us use them for like, um, vehicle storage. Um, fuel is, is here. Uh, this is a more storage area for vehicles, mostly implements, I would think. Implements. Uh, in between the um, right here, it would be bunkers, like for I, I would I would assume it's for like uh, wood chips, potatoes, uh, sugar beets, uh, maybe. I don't know what else you might want to put in there. Maybe you need need two for wood chips. I don't know. But on either end are triggers for fertilizer. There's liquid on one end and the uh, solid fertilizer up down on the other end. Now here, the silos have moved. They used to be up there where that storage bin is up there. Uh, but they've moved to on, here on the farm uh, with your uh, dispensing trigger here unloading trigger there and your tip trigger here now there's also seed pallets where you can your your um, you can get your seeds for your sowers here I think the fields of uh, this one and um, number 12 15 and number 12 have been enlarged just a little bit by some of the stuff that's been taken off um, but up here on the end, uh, one of the things nice about this map are is the animals have come um, closer to the farm. Now, instead of being way over on the west side of the map, the sheep are now over here on the farm itself uh, with your water and your unloading point for the, for the animals, uh, your grass back there, and uh, your spawning point for the wool, wool pallets that uh, come right here. So yes, yeah, that's, that's one of the additions. Now, you'll notice that the animals are closer to the to the farm, and I'll show you the 
the uh, uh, cows and the pigs here in just a minute. Pigs are in the same location. It's just a little bit easier to, to get to them now, and I'll show you why. Uh, one of the other things that's nice, really nice about this farm um, is the reset point. Uh, you know, if you, um, I don't know, got a tractor stuck in the, the um, in the uh, in the water or uh, on rocks or something, or you just needed to move it back to the field and you wanted to or farm and you wanted to reset it. Well, in 15, you reset it, it would go back to the farm. 17, it respond or reset at the uh, um, at the shop, which was kind of dumb, but I mean I can see a point there somewhat, but not totally. Uh, so now it resets. Steve has set the reset point back here on the farm, which I think will be uh, advantageous for everybody. I think it'll. I think it's really going to work out with the spot uh, reset point here. Um, I think I think it's going to make it a lot easier. Also, the water has been moved to uh, to this point here. I'm not sure where it was before. Um, I never noticed the swimming pool. Stevie, it's not filled. Uh, we need that filled, and there's nobody laying out today. Okay. So, yeah, that's uh, that's the main part, main field. Now, if you go out here on the road and take a left here, and you go up that little dirt road up there, oh, well, that's your cow farm up there. So you see how close it is. So we're on the cow farm now, and it, everything you know, else out here, up here, is uh, I'd say pretty much all the same, with the exception of uh, one or about four items here. And the four would be uh, this extra feed here, water over on the left there. Uh, your, your unloading zone is now inside here next to the milking machine and then uh, there across the cattle guards here the cows won't go over that um, there's uh, your liquid manure and your manure or slurry liquid manure um, that's over here as it was on the last farm and this is just the same as it, um, the, the conveyors here let me show you how to do those here in a second took me three beers the other night to figure out how to do those things. So that's all share. But if you go through the field, you go across, across these cattle guards to this road over here. Oh, there's your pigs. You see how easy that is? How easy those are to get to? So the pigs are exactly the same as it was in the other game. Uh, it's completely the same. Um, one of the things that... Uh, I'm not too thrilled about. Well, when you hit a sign in, in the old, old in the other maps, you send those uh, uh, signs flying, and the 12-year-old in me likes to see the signs flying. Well, there's collision trigger on them now, so that's not going to happen with this map. But that's okay. I'll try to avoid them. I wasn't trying to avoid them before, but now I will. Um, so that's the major changes with the map. There are a few other little things here and there uh, that uh, have changed. Lights added here, uh, water planes added here, a um, few things here and there, but it's, it's just, it's mainly... Okay, now one thing I did want to cover before, before I got out of here was um, how to put up those conveyors. And these are the conveyors here. And, um... It took me about three beers to figure out how to do these, do this thing. Um, but I found out that there was no controls when it's hooked up to the tractor. So you have to disconnect them to the tractor, tractor walk over to them. Well, I've got that thing hidden now. All the box hidden. Okay, see where it says enter? That means you're going to enter something. And there's no tractor or anything around, so hit enter. You're now inside the conveyor which you can actually drive it forward backward turn left turn right um, the first thing you're going to do is hit X and put the uh, hitch up now you can turn right a little bit better turn left or right now you would not be able to get this as far into this without hitting it and just you know kicking it around and and, f and finally getting it in there 
without without being able to drive it yourself the way they're set up so that's how you set set up set them up you actually climb inside and drive them around um, this one is just basically uh, from one conveyor belt to the other and uh, so you position that underneath Neath the, the belt there and actually what can happen uh, use your mouse button and you can raise it and lower it and uh, you hit the right sweet spot I think you have to be above it actually anyway you can actually hook up to that now I have found that it's not um, as good to be hooked up to them everything kind of is kind of um, a mess so if you just leave them like this uh, it might have helped if I'd done this this first yeah 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 Jim okay I'm gonna extend them out a little bit more and you again you use the mouse to do that But you can still drive them around, so you can get them underneath that sweet spot there to uh, take the manure out to, from one belt to the other. So now that's that's in there. That's that's going to stay there. That's not going to move. Now this is the one where you would tip into your trailer, and you're going to back this up. Back, Jim. Back, 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 back underneath that area so just like that so the manure will come out here on the right go down this one belt and up that other belt there and I'm gonna get rid of this dialog box here use your mouse get that out as much as possible now, now you can see that I can just pull a trailer right underneath there straight and get all the manure out I can clean all the manure out and it won't be bothering with anybody any other truck now I can always move that back in when it's not time to uh, clean manure out which would be fine to stay out of everybody's way less chance of it getting not knocked around but basically that's how you set up a conveyor anywhere basically um, if you have the space you don't need that center speed uh, spot um, you will need at least one of them and you'll need at least the last last one on the left there and the one on the right but not necessarily one in the middle if you've got enough room for it to go straight out so yeah that's uh that's the uh uh how to do the conveyor i hope you've hope you enjoyed this um and again don't forget to hit that likes like button and uh we'll talk to you there see ya happy halloween Leave now while you still can. Leave now.